Once we got there, we unloaded the trailer, got stalls ready, and set up all of our stuff so that it was all organized. Since it had been muddy the past few days, we gave all the horses baths so that they were ready to show the next day. The next thing on the agenda was to school so that we could make sure that all of the horses could see the arenas they were going to be showing in. This is the Dark Horse or Starbucks and they have a ride through and they sell coffee and snacks if you need something on the go. This is the Bradley Arena and it is the warm up ring for the sanctuary and there's usually jumps in the middle for people to warm up with but it was Tuesday so they weren't set up yet. The sanctuary is the main jumper ring and probably the biggest ring at World Equestrian Center in Wilmington and it is also where the Grand Prix is held every Saturday after 4 p.m. This is one of the most famous murals that they have here. A sudden impulse is basically the WEC merchandise store. They sell everything with WEC's logo on it that includes jackets, shirts, blankets, scarves, cups, anything, all of the above. And they also do personalization, so if you want your barn's logo on it or your name on it, they'll do it for you. The Custom Fox Tack Shop is great if you need something um, while you're in the show ring or in the barn. They have saddle pads, jackets, saddles, bridles, bits, helmets, shoes, halters, shine spray, hoof polish, anything that you might need. They take such professional photos at WEC, I really recommend that you go take a look at the ones that they've taken for you, and this is the trailer that you would go look at them at. So this is the little village, it has the sugar shack, all their little shops, and the chapel, as well as an entrance to the dark horse, and it is a great place to relax if you have some free time in between your classes during the day. There's always one religious service in the chapel in a week, and the other service that they have is usually in sanctuary. This place has all your human, pet, and horse needs, as well as a vet named Dr. Holly, who is very well recommended and very thorough. The Sugar Shack has pretty much any candy you can think of, and they also have grab bags, and it's $14 per bag. This is a tax store that has equipment for both horses and riders that is both traditional and fun. Here they have a little of a lot and it is curated for their equestrian lifestyle. They do gifts, decor, and apparel. Here they sell sun shirts, show shirts, and jackets all to keep rider at a perfect 70 degrees. Here you can schedule a nail appointment, facial, 
hair appointment or even a massage. stopped at Walmart so that we could get groceries and wouldn't have to eat out the entire week. This is the Arnold Annex schooling ring, and it's the first one you see. This is right next to the other one. The other one is the Arnold schooling ring, which is then next to the lunging ring. At the fitness center they have kid jumps so kids can set up a course and kind of do their own thing and then they have a full-size gym. At the cafe they have a very wide selection of food options and fountain drinks and they have a grab and go in case you need something quick. And then upstairs they have a full dining area and they even have a little nook that you can look over your green rockets or anything. The Roberts Arena usually has pony stuff and sometimes during the week they'll have hunter or jumper stuff as well. Battle Club has a lot of food too, it's basically the WEC restaurant if you want to go there in the afternoon for dinner. And it is right by the office, and the office is where you check in and do your payments, and you can also um, go upstairs to watch the sanctuary.